Now, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu stated that Israel makes its own decisions about how to defend itself. Of course, Western countries are urging for restraint in responding to a volley of attacks from Iran. And reports suggest that Netanyahu axed pre-approved plans for immediate Iran reprisal after Biden's call. Now, the public broadcaster stated that Israeli leadership it had approved a series of possible responses depending on the scope of the Iranian strikes. The responses were slated to be carried out immediately following the direct attack by Tehran. However, Netanyahu shelved the plans after speaking with U.S. President Joe Biden shortly after the Iranian salvo. Iran marked its National Army Day with a parade showcasing its weapons at a military base in Tehran with heightened security around the venue. Given the tense backdrop in the wake of Iran's retaliatory strikes against Israel, stricter measures were put in place. Live broadcasting was restricted and camera crews were also limited. Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi and several high-ranking military officials were present and they inspected the parade. The Israeli Prime Minister thanked the visiting foreign ministers of Germany and Britain for their country's support on Wednesday as well. He said Israel would reach its own decisions on its security. Israel's air and ground offensive in Gaza has killed almost 34,000 Palestinians. Now, after Netanyahu, British Foreign Secretary David Cameron met Palestinian Prime Minister Mohammed Mustafa in Ramallah. They discussed the importance of the humanitarian relief efforts in the Gaza Strip and the need to stop the violence by settlers in the West Bank. Jordan's Foreign Minister Ayman Safadi said an Israeli retaliation against Iranian strikes could bring a real risk of dragging the whole region into a devastating war. Now, in an interview released by state media, he said that Jordan was lobbying major powers against an escalation that would have far-reaching consequences. Qatari Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdul Rahman Al Thani talks on Gaza ceasefire and release of hostages, says that talks are at a delicate phase at the moment, and Qatar's Premier condemned what he described as the policy of collective punishment still followed by Israel. European Union leaders decided to step up sanctions against Iran after Tehran's missile and drone attack on Israel. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz said it was important that Israel does not respond with a massive attack of its own. We condemn this attack launched by Iran against uh, Israel. We have decided to put sanctions, to put in place sanctions against uh, Iran. This is a, a clear signal uh, that we want to, to send. And we also want to do everything to protect the civilians. Each civilian life matters. Uh, we call uh, on the release uh, without any conditions of all hostages. Uh, we call on a ceasefire.